Terrell here, and I'm here to talk about the movie Bandits, uh, directed and written by Stuart Stone and Adam uh, Roland, uh, coming, uh, being distributed by Quiver Distribution, uh, currently is currently in Canada on uh, Hollywood Suite and Amazon Prime. Uh, if you guys haven't heard about the newest uh, holiday, uh, I say uh, staple movie that you're probably going to watch. I go say staple, but it's good. It's going to be a part of like you probably your holiday, uh, your holiday lineup. You know, with your Home Alones and your and your uh, your Die Hard and stuff like that. Uh, which you know, this movie takes a lot of different. Uh, elements from different holiday movies such as ground up groundhog day and, and like you said other other family movies well, i wouldn't say i wouldn't count this a family movie but uh this movie is coming um this movie is about a small time gang uh a crook that's looking to make a big score when they take they embark on a ridiculous heist to rob a bangle hall on christmas eve um automatically you know going into this i i clearly did not have any uh, I didn't watch any trailers or anything like that. I didn't watch um, any any clips, any any hints to like what this was gonna be. So I, I had no no clue what this movie was gonna be about, how ridiculous it was gonna be. Um, heads up, I did do a interview uh, with the uh, the director Stu uh, Stu Stone himself, and uh, he was able to. Uh, this is after watching the movie, of course, was able to break it down and give me a little bit inside of the movie. Uh, you know, some of the stuff, you know, um, was able to tell me how long the movie, it took them to make a movie, which is apparently like a month. Uh, and when they shot the movie and everything like that. So, you know, you definitely checked out that interview when that's posted. Um, but you're going to see, you know, a, a lot of, you know, once you watch that and you, you watch the, if you haven't watched the movie, you'll see what I'm talking about as far as like some of the elements that are used in the movie and like just some of the behind the scenes stuff. Um, but the cast of this is like a pretty, pretty, you know, pretty good cast. Uh, we got Rob Wells. We all know from trailer park boys, which you can watch on Netflix right now. Um, you can watch him and he's been to other stuff as well. Um, uh, Francesco Antonio and Wayne, Jen Arden and Jan, uh, Enrico Colantoni, Flashpoint, Jesse Camacho, Lock and Key and Tony Napple faking the murderer. Uh, yeah, I, th I think Tony Napple is like definitely one of the highlights of the movie. Like he, he definitely takes this to like a whole other level that it doesn't need to be at um you know you talk about like you know just just slapstick you know ridiculousness like this movie you just can't take it serious i mean this is not <laughs> this is not like an appointment like i man you need to watch this like i'm not telling you, you need to watch this but i'm telling you it's it's worth the laugh to see how ridiculous this is i, I you know if it ever comes up make sure you tune into this because this movie is absolutely bonkers uh everybody like i said break brings to the character you know i walked in this not knowing what type of movie i was gonna get and i feel like i left not knowing what type of movie it was <laughs> like um i mean it's and that's not a bad thing i'm just saying like it's it it gives you a a groundhog day uh bad santa vibe if that makes sense so if, if you go see it you'll see how completely just ridiculous this movie is and i and i think everybody here like brought like a bit of different comedy styles to each one of the characters i mean we're we're in the middle of a bingo hall and the you know on christmas eve trying to rob a place for a 25k um and, and everybody the few people that are in the bingo hall everybody brings a, a different element uh Stu stone who's in the movie actually uh plays a ridiculous character um who who is working at a, a convenience shop he, he's completely ridiculous man um uh, you know i think it's well, definitely one of my favorite parts of the movie i think is when they when they walked in there uh, it, it, that and just the different I, I one of the things i think they did that was interesting was like obviously showing the different viewpoints of the characters from like gaps of time that were like missing from the movie because when you start off it's like okay bam 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 and we get to we kind of get to the point and then you know the whatever MacGuffin of the movie happens but like being able to fill in those those time slots like the time that we're missing from like the movie I thought was a pretty interesting element um that that was uh I think one of the obviously one of the highlights uh <laughs> of the movie again the movie is not like oh man this is appointment I need to watch this like I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying it's not this ain't winning no Oscars no time to me but it's freaking hilarious like I, I definitely laughed uh, a couple of times throughout the movie, not not forcefully, but like willingly. 
Um, but the movie is really, really, really good. Uh, I highly recommend. Like I said, if if you happen to stumble across it, uh, you know whether whenever it gets distributed here in the U.S. Uh, outside of Canada, uh, I'm sure you probably had to log into Amazon Canada or something like that to be able to watch it. But you know, it's it's definitely funny. Um, Stu Stone, Stu Stone, he definitely, um, you know, put the the way they had this whole backstory of this movie and the filming and everything like that. It definitely, I think, made the movie a lot funnier to me. Having that knowledge in my head of like kind of the the story surrounding this, um, but it's just completely ridiculous. Uh, Rob Wells just being rob wells i i mean he he is pretty much funny in everything he's in um kind of gives me like a um I'm trying to remember the character from um the righteous gemstones like i want to say it's danny something and i can't think of his last name but he 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 reminds me of that guy uh he's pretty pretty freaking funny um like i said i mean i the whole theme of christmas all together i mean you, you, you can't have a better better christmas movie i know i know growing up with me you know, it was always Medea and whatever. But now I feel like we, we need to get back into building new Christmas movies. And I feel like we've kind of stepped away from that. Like the holiday in general, we kind of stepped away from. But I feel like we don't have we don't have a lot of holiday themed movies as much as we used to. Um, except, you know, this Christmas. And, you know, it's probably, I probably count on my, on my hand the amount of movies that I've probably seen in the last, Christmas-wise, that I've seen in the last decade that wasn't Hallmark. And I can tell you right now, this is not a Hallmark movie uh bandits i mean it's only like an hour and 20 minutes um you know you don't feel like it's overstayed it's welcome they got in they got out it didn't need to be any longer than what it needed to be um i actually did like the ending i was a little concerned about that the ending uh definitely i think i'm not gonna say stuck the landing but i was satisfied with what it gave um because i was like oh man we're gonna do like that and it was like oh okay so i, I wasn't i wasn't upset with the direction of where this ending went um i feel like the ensemble of the cast like i feel like this is not their first time working together i'm not you know i haven't checked to check their imdbs or anything like that but if this is they did a really really good job i feel like everybody um like they flow well like they were already friends like they the chemistry of everybody was was on point um i don't know how they did this without bursting out laughing every five minutes because everybody in this is completely ridiculous even like the b characters in the background are just completely like it's just people you wouldn't normally see in your normal day or whatever town this is like i just it's just so obscene um but the movie is crazy i mean like even the title bandits you know the the wet bandits from uh home alone uh kind of kind of gives you that vibe um the movie's cool though um like i said if you if you had a chance to find it or when they when they finally bring it over here stateside or if you check it out on canada i i would i would say check it out um, this is definitely worth putting on for an hour, whether you're, you're folding clothes or whatever you're doing in the background. Um, this doesn't need your full attention, but uh, it's definitely worth the laugh. So, you know, I think they I think they kind of market this as like a stoner movie. Uh, I mean, even though we see the, the characters doing drugs and, you know, drinking before this heist. Um, I will say this, and it's not a spoiler, it's really bothered me. Um, they have a couple scenes where they're literally about to rob this bingo hall. And for whatever reason, they just they address it in the movie, but like they just come in, they don't have their mask on, and they just I I was like, okay, at what point they're gonna put these masks on the robbers place because everybody sees who you are, right? Like this is a small town, how how are you getting away with this? But that's neither that was my only like real gripe about the movie. It's just just it was just some stupid stuff. I mean, the movie's already dumb, but like just stupid stuff that really stood out to me that I was like, man, this is at some point in one of these like these jump backs we're gonna we're gonna have them put on the mask no um but never explain even other than just a sense of deja vu but like i said other than that the the movie solid uh check it out uh like i said again i'm not telling you this is gonna get an oscar or anything like that but it is definitely worth a laugh um would i pay for it that's a different question um uh, again catch this on the stream or again uh in canada on hollywood suite and amazon prime you can check that out uh shout out to Stu stone for doing the interview with me the other day uh brought a lot of energy uh i really appreciate that um and like i said go check out check out bandits any way you can uh support um well I, even though i just said don't those people <laughs> no try to try to find it try to you know whatever it is uh you know stream it about streaming that helps but uh other than that check out bandits uh it was worth the laugh 
I, I, I definitely enjoyed it. It was only an hour and 20 minutes. So, like I said, check it out, and I'll see you guys next time for another review. See?